name is Grinder, as uh, some of you guys already know me, right? So we have met before as well. Very excited to have you as a part of a team, you know, family, Win City family. Because biggest thing is, I know you what, like now four years? You started like, did you buy your first investment in Windsor with, with us? Yeah, in Windsor, yeah. With yeah, with us. So, first property and they're on what, like six, seven, eight? Uh, yeah, around 30 units now. 30 units, pretty much with Win City. Uh, no, at least majority of them. Yeah, I have some in Sudbury. Yes, well. sir, but, but most uh, of them in like Windsor. More than half is in Windsor. Yeah, very knowledgeable investor that I know, like, you know, um, and who's been like focused on investing and that to long term invest, long distance investing. Yeah. In Toronto, working full time, father, and running a business, not real estate, on the side, another business. <laughs> and plus investing very actively, burr projects, flippings, yeah. you know, a whole buy and hold, really multiple. With Aditya, uh, I think it goes back to like uh, maybe 2018, 2019 uh, when I bought my first property in Windsor. That was a bird project, so always have been a fan of uh, bird uh, projects. I've done maybe like 10 plus uh, bird projects in the last uh, two, two and a half years. And that was my go to strategy to like grow my portfolio. Uh, also, have invested in multi families like duplexes, fourplexes, fiveplexes. Uh, so majority in Windsor, but uh, I do have some properties mm -hmm. uh, investments in Sudbury as well. So yeah, uh, basically was doing uh, long distance uh, investing. So right? what's your background like? Like are you born and raised in Canada? No, no, no. <laughs> I I came to Canada in 2010. 2010. And, okay. Uh, like so I'm, not too long ago, pretty much. No, 12 not, years ago. Not that long ago, yeah. So uh, I did my uh, engineering uh, back in India. Uh, and also did my MBA and then I moved here. Uh, I came to Vancouver. So uh, me and my wife, uh, we basically were renting an apartment and then we were like, okay, why not uh, like buy an apartment? It, like me and my wife, we both work in IT. So at that time we both were working as employees to, to some like uh, medium scale industries there, medium employers there in Vancouver area. So we were making good money. We were investing here. Uh, yeah. Uh, real estate as well and then so the, at that point that was your just your primary home you didn't really like technically no, no, it's no. not an investment not an investment yeah so that was the first time i bought real estate in canada gotcha right so and the next year we bought a detached house so you uh, just upgraded right. your lifestyle so at this point you don't yeah. know about real estate no no technically no. So, you're just upgrading your lifestyle yeah, we at that point of time like i we didn't know what a bird is right yeah, yeah but we end up doing work to that like single family house that we bought it had a basement which was like semi-finished uh, but it had a separate entrance so mm. uh, we took possession and then we built a separate suite in that basement rented it out uh, lived in that house for for one and a half year close to that uh, which was basically house hacking right? house, uh, house hacking and bird yeah house hacking and bird <laughs> And at the same time, we kept that condo uh, as well, uh, our first property in Surrey. Uh, we didn't like plan to sell or anything. We lived there and then 2017, uh, we decided to move to, uh, to Toronto. Like, you know, this is one of the things, like you're still new in the country at this point. Yeah. Like what made you, like what kind of things triggered you to buy that first property, buy that second property? So uh, real estate was like always, uh, always a passion and I, like, the background that I come from, like we, we own land, we own farms in mm. Punjab as well, right? So, and uh, my dad, like he has built so many houses in India as well, and we, not as an investment, but uh, we we lived in a house uh, for three four years, and then we move on to some some other house, uh, right? So, so we were like kept on uh, moving, flipping, from... <laughs> living in them, and then flipping them for profit, right? So gotcha. So you, so you, technically, your family business yeah. was into real estate. So it was always there in the in the back of my mind that okay, I wanted to get into real estate investing, and and you know that in Canada there are not many investing options. Yeah. Uh, other than like you buy stock or GICs or real estate, right? And uh, where you get better returns is real estate. Yeah, and especially so, if you're new to the country, 
buying that first property is much easier than yeah. buying an investment property, right? Like, yeah, and you upgraded from first one with, I'm assuming 5%, 10% down or yes, like? 10% down, it was a pre-construction, so yeah. it took one year to complete and we had to like make payments and it was an easy, flexible payment. Package. And then your second property, I'm assuming same strategy? Yeah, like same strategy. Uh, and we, by then, like we had some down payment saved up, so we bought it for with 20% down. Right. Yeah, uh, and then uh, we rented out the the basement unit uh, for I think like nine hundred at that point of time. Uh, yeah, so you're always like trying yeah, to keep your expenses low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think within a couple of months of moving here, we bought a house in Brampton. I sold both the homes in in Vancouver uh, in Surrey, uh, the detached one and the condo one, and then uh, we had some funds and then we invested. Here, like in our current uh, residence that we bought from Brampton, and then so you paid like heavy down yeah, payment. Yeah, yeah. So that was an easy transition. I, uh, I think we were easily able to come up with the twenty percent down payment, mm. uh, and we thought that it's a it's a good move. Uh, now, like sometimes I feel that we should have kept that condo at least <laughs> because we we made good money in the condo. I, I remember we bought it for two seventy five, and we sold it for four twenty five, like uh, in, in a year's time. Yeah, so it's like no One taxes. And a half years time, yeah. But now, like uh, that condo is like maybe eight hundred thousand. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah. That, I mean, that's the two, thing, right? Like you know, bedroom right on uh, King George Skyton Station, uh, which is like. Uh, you know, th this this thought process always makes me think. You never know, like even uh, I sold my first house, yeah. got this house, yeah. but the question is like, you know, you don't know whether it's a perfect move or not. You didn't pay any taxes. You took liquid cash yeah. Yeah. because it's a primary home. Primary you don't have home, to yeah. pay the we taxes. We lived there for one, one and a half years, so yeah. it was a primary home, right? And, and, and no capital tax on you didn't home. spend that money. You invested into another invested. property and that property yeah. also appreciated as well, right? Like, yes. So yes. if you were in a position to hold on, yeah. Of course, buy and hold is always a great strategy. Yes, yes, no, that's true. And yeah, from then on, uh, like started buying properties aggressively. Uh, also bought a business. Uh, it's a hair salon uh, in Mississauga. So you were already working full time. You're already actively investing. Why you did you get into the business? We 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 both were, as I said, uh, we both were in IT. Mm -hmm. We both are in IT actually. So. Uh, then we thought, okay, we should invest something somewhere which is like a service-based business, which is not uh, like something which is recession-proof, right? Mm. So you never know something goes wrong with the industry and then there are layoffs in IT and stuff like that, right? Uh, so Multiple stream of income. Yeah, why not buy something uh, which is like more passive, which can go on the side by itself. Uh, and then we came across this, uh, this hair salon. Uh, it was on market and then uh, went off market. But we kind of uh, kept in touch with the with the owner, and uh, we made a deal with them, and uh, we bought that. So the owner like stayed for a couple of months for the transition. Uh, so they helped you to like understand yeah, the business. Yeah, because it was new industry to us, mm -hmm. right? Uh, none of us know anything about hair or. Hair, so, so like business. zero knowledge about zero hair. Knowledge. Did yeah. you cut hairs ever? No, no, no. So you yeah, have no clue about hair no cutting even now. No, no clue at all. And so. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt here because, you know, this is something crazy interesting story, right? Like so many people complain about like, oh, I don't know about real estate. Yeah. I don't know about investing. But here you are, like you got like yeah. still new to the city yeah. uh, and, and no clue about the business. Yeah, but so you, it, was, it, it was a tough decision and uh, I'm glad that we took it. Uh, like we bought the salon and we took over like five employees mm -hmm. uh, and we had like zero knowledge about uh, about hair or about how this industry works we learned from from ground up mm. uh, my wife uh, kudos to her like she spent a lot of time figuring out the operations uh, talking to to different vendors how the supply works right uh, how the payroll works and stuff like that yeah so, you guys support our team yeah I, yeah <laughs> I, 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 she's yeah, very she, active she right? like she helps you out. She has done a great house and she's very smart. Now you're, you're running this business, job, real estate. Yeah. So why did you choose to invest in Windsor? So what triggered you to Well, invest? cash flow. Cash flow. <laughs> cash flow, right? So, Sorry, I'm going to touch base on this, yeah, uh, yeah. the out of town investing because, you know, this is something that I hear a lot, yeah. concerns from people who are watching this. You know, you're doing all these activities, still you manage to invest in Windsor. Yeah. So what are some of the difficulties that you 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 went through mm. and what are some of the things that you know, helped you to continue that journey? 
So uh, difficulties, obviously, uh, it was that okay, if we buy something in Windsor, how are we gonna manage? Like it's a three-hour distance, right? Mm -hmm. And that's when uh, like agent like yourself mm -hmm. uh, comes in handy, right? Who knows the local market? Who have contacts with the with the contract, uh, with general contractors and property management companies? So uh, you need to you need to have that trust uh, in, yeah. in others, right? So it's not that. Uh, you can do everything just by yourself. Uh, you have to trust others. You have to delegate. Uh, you, you have to believe in others that okay, uh, there are good people out there. Yeah. It's not that everybody is trying to screw you. It's not yeah. that. You you did your thorough due diligence. Yeah. You know you can draw down areas like you you spoke, we spoke and you yeah. took property management contacts this and that. And also one good thing like you mentioned, you do your due diligence. Once you trust the person, trust throughout the process. Yeah. And we talk about all this all the time within the team. The people who trust us, like we do actually, before even they ask, like we do a lot more things for them. Because, yeah. you know, they're like, they have so much trust on us, we don't want to break that trust. We actually want to continue that trust. And there are some people, you know, they don't tend to trust and they try to like pinch every little detail, like, okay, okay, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Could you, like, the trust is haven't established that actually would not create a good relation. So yeah. I love that. Like, you know, you literally completely, okay, I trust these guys. I'm going to do my due diligence. And whenever we send any properties, like you do your numbers. Yeah. Oh, let's make an offer for this or let's forget about this property. Yeah. That's a very good attitude. So you, you cannot be blind, right? You yeah. cannot do it blindly. Eventually, like it's your money, you are putting it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, you have to do some due diligence. You cannot just rely that, okay, I have hired a realtor, so he's gonna do everything now. Like, I'm just hands off. Yep. You, you can't do that. Especially for the first few investments. You need to be on the ground. Uh, you need to talk to your contractor. You need to talk to your uh, realtor. And now you literally move to Windsor. Yeah. And yeah. you moved your family <laughs> from a bigger city. Yeah. So you moved from Vancouver to Toronto and now to Windsor. So, yeah. so what what made you to make that move? Windsor was was good to me, right? So uh, like I made good returns on this uh, on the city. I would yeah. Say. <laughs> uh, met some great people. Uh, it's nice people as well. And uh, uh, I, I like the the vibe of, of Windsor. I lived in Vancouver. Uh, was a busy place. Uh, lived in Brampton, like too busy right now, uh, but it's still good. Like I still own my properties there. I haven't mm -hmm. sold anything. So, uh, so you didn't make the first mistake. No, 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 <laughs> not, not again. I'm not repeating that. So I'm just keeping everything right now. And uh, yeah, Windsor was, uh, was just wanted to move to a, some, somewhere which is more relaxed uh, uh, living, right? Uh, and because my parents are with me as well, so mm. they also wanted to move somewhere which is quieter, more nicer. One last question. So now you're doing something new again. Uh, yes. So, uh, well, I have been very close to, to real estate uh, like from last few years. Uh, and I thought that, okay, why not uh, maybe um, get a license and start helping people out uh, with, yeah. the, with the experience that I've gained over the years, uh, right? So, uh, I know it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a challenging uh, uh, industry, uh, but there is a lot more uh, that you can do or you can do in terms of servicing your clients. There is a lot of room uh, for, for growth and yeah. uh, for improvement as well. I mean, you know, I'm definitely like super excited and to see people like you in this industry, right? Like in the sales industry, like mm -hmm. real estate sales, yeah. because not many people have the experience and the knowledge that the real world experience, right? Like you, yeah, yeah. you bought your primary homes, you bought investing, multifamily, yeah. single family, birth strategies, everything like yeah. you didn't, like you, you didn't say, like you did it yeah. multiple times. Yeah, so yeah. that's a great experience. And yeah. now you can help hundreds of, you know, yeah, thousands of clients. That's what the goal is, uh, yeah. that I can provide a better and value. Better you have that pleasant personality that, you know, who, okay. who, who is willing to that's understand true. the person. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I, Again, okay. I, I, I I mean it like it's yeah, you know you yeah, understand yeah. the person you you get their input you you yeah. you're good and, and and I'm super excited to have you part of Win City. Yeah, no, so thank th you so much for for having me and uh, like I I mentioned uh, I know Win City from the early days right uh, and it was an easy easy choice like uh, I didn't uh, go and talk to like different brokers yeah. I was like very clear in my mind that okay if ever I do real estate. 
maybe I'll talk to them there and see if we can work together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. You guys have any questions? No. That's many good things happen soon. <laughs> Make good things happen soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So welcome, welcome to the. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you need any help, any suggestions, any questions, any questions for Gurinder, let us know in the comments below. And soon, probably you have your Instagram, right? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna put the Instagram in the description. So make sure you go follow. Ask more questions. You know, probably you're in somewhere in the, that journey or somewhere, you know, that you're going through. Anything that he, he can help you, reach out. So with that, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.